Good morning, everybody. I'm, well, it's not good morning, it's good evening. I'm in my shop. I've been home for a couple of days already. We haven't been vlogging much while we've been at home. Uh, it's been nice just to relax after uh, the snowstorms I've been through in the last couple of weeks. It's nice just to relax and do anything other than trucking for, uh, for a day or two. Putting the winter tires on the wife mobile. I already got this one on here. And not only am I putting the winter tires on, I'm giving them a fresh coat of paint too. It's just a touch up. Uh, you'll see on the back of they, uh, uh, the rims are getting a little bit rusty. So we do need to get them, you know, professionally sanded down and painted yet. But for now, I figure for this winter, I'll give it a quick touch up coat of paint. Just speed drying them here with my fan. Using this paint right here. Just automotive paint. It's uh, just something so that it looks a little better. I really didn't want, uh, I didn't want rusty wheels rolling down the road. I know what the wife doesn't like that either. Brett hates, hates the look of that. So I sent her a picture of it and she approved. Mm, win. Happy wife, happy life, right? So I'm filming on my phone right now. I don't even have my GoPro here at the shop anymore. You can see my old mattress behind me there and uh, my collection of flags. Don't worry, America. I got you right there. Uh, some of you were asking in my last video, where's the US flag? Of course I got you up there. Don't worry, I got you. Just uh, got my little collection there. We'll see. I might change them out now and then, but these are the ones being displayed right now. So I'm gonna quickly finish this up. I on these already. And now that the paint's dry, i to throw them on there and she'll be set for the winter. These tires are actually fantastic winter tires. They're gonna last a long time yet. I think we have, what, four winters on these already? And look at them. Like, they're still doing great. And with these things on the terrain, this thing is a tank. It's an all-wheel drive SLE model, 2014. And with these winter tires on it, it is almost impossible, I've tried, to even get it to spin. You put the throttle down and poof, you're gone. The engine itself isn't too impressive. It's a little underpowered. It's a four cylinder, 2.2 liter Ecotec, I think. <laughs> you can floor it and make a lot of noise and stuff, but uh, you won't be going anywhere too fast. So I guess I should put that disclaimer in there when I say I can't even spin the tires, but it will go through anything. Like I've never gotten it stuck, ever. I've gotten the pickup stuck, four wheel drive pickup. Never gotten this thing stuck. So this is a vehicle that she drives around. It's what she picked. That's her baby. And she takes really good care of it. I got this fan this summer for the shop because it's so hot in here. And obviously there's no air conditioning in the shop. That would be quite a bit of money uh, just for a shop, right? When I build my shop, I want to put air conditioning in it. We'll see what I can do. <laughs> it might not be in there right off the bat, but by the time I get older, it gets really hot here in the uh, summertime, believe it or not. It gets really cold in wintertime. It'll obviously have heat, uh, just like this shop here. It has floor heat, and plus I have my little heater over here yet, which heats this place up really quick. I opened the door to get the big truck out of here. Old Blue's sitting outside. Uh, I brought the terrain inside here to change the tires, and it only took about 15 minutes. I opened the door, right away is all the heat escape and shot out the door, obviously, and it went down to about zero degrees or 32 Fahrenheit in here, very quick. I shut the door, turned the heater on over there, and it only was 15 minutes and we're up to uh, 55 Fahrenheit, I think. It's gotten a little warmer since then. Yeah, about, uh, now we're at about 58, 50. We got back up to 55 Fahrenheit, about, uh, you know, 10, 12 degrees in 15 minutes. So that heater actually works pretty good. So I'm gonna get these finished right now. Uh, Britt's already messaging me. She wants to have supper soon. So let's get this finished up and head home. And of course, before we present this to the wife, we're gonna bull snot these tires. This stuff works great. You guys have seen this in my videos quite a bit, right? You can go to bullsnotcanada.com or Look it up on Facebook, Bull Snot. You can go to brownox.com if you're in the US. 
these are the only products I use. Give them a little shine up. So that I know the rest of the vehicle's dirty. I don't have time to bolt snot the entire vehicle right now, but today we're just focusing on the tires. It's okay if you get it on the rim a bit, it's not gonna hurt it. You just leave it on there for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and you wipe it off. I'm just gonna grab a microfiber. Okay, you can't knock them until you try them. Now at least give them a try. And if you go to a store and you don't see them on the shelves, Tell them they need some bull snot. Let's quickly wipe this off right here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Much better, right? Like, ignore the rest of the vehicle. Just those tires. Mm-hmm. Ready for winter. Look at that. All right, let's go home, see what she thinks. And there's a much more familiar sight. Old blue back where she belongs. I came a little close to the line on this side, eh? That's okay. I'll forgive myself this time. Because the wife wants me home. Otherwise, this would not stand. This would, uh, this would have to be corrected. This is, I'm gonna be having nightmares about this tonight. Oh my. That's awful. Trucker Josh, what's wrong with you? We're just gonna leave it like that. I better get out of here. I can't stand to look at this. It's crooked. We'll see you soon, old blue. Probably tomorrow. Halfway there. Halfway. And how's it feel? Feels good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it what you've always wanted? Yep. Is it what you expected? Yeah. Yeah? Actually, I expected it to be much harder and more uncomfortable. I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's comfortable, it's just not bad. Second mm -hmm. trimester is still treating me, treating me well. Halfway there. Halfway there. A little tired the last two days, but... It's not a big deal. Well, you're growing a human. I mean, that, that's got to take a lot of energy. It is true. Yep. It's amazing. There's a, there's a person in there. Yeah. There she is. Or he. We still think she. We think she, but it's okay if it's a he. Oh, totally okay. See? Yeah. As long as you're healthy, I'm cool. Mm hmm. Yep. So, uh, what do you think of your winter tires? They look beautiful. Yeah, they you like new. You like the paint? Yes, you're a Thought magical about. being, honey. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Magical. That's what I was fishing for right there. <laughs> so uh, that's all we really did this weekend. I didn't film uh, every day. I don't always film at home anymore, and Brett keeps saying that I should. Yep. I guess as I get a little lazy. I look somewhat like this. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the time I'm just in pajamas. I'm one of those. This was Saturday's video. So I'm ending this on the Sunday. And uh, got to deliver that load soon. Hopefully I can get hooked up onto it. I detached it and it snowed a lot since then. And I, didn't, I don't think they've cleared the yard yet. So I'm hoping I can get back underneath there. And we'll worry about that in tomorrow's video. It would be such a shame if you were stuck here in Steinbeck. <laughs> Couldn't leave me. Wouldn't complain. Actually, you got to get some miles in because you got to be home on the 21st, the 25th, and the 28th. Yeah, there's lots of appointments coming up. Yeah. I have an appointment. Uh, I got to get a thing, camera stuck down my throat, I guess, to my stomach. Endoscopy. Endoscopy. Still trying to figure out what uh, the discomfort is in my back. It keeps coming and going. I really didn't want this procedure. I tried to avoid it, but doctor says that you need it and he kept making appointments for me when I missed the other ones and didn't reschedule and the wife told him to suck <laughs> it up because she knows dozens of people that have had it done with no issues well I asked them what the risks were and they said oh only one in two thousand patients get like damage 
done from the procedure. And I'm thinking, one in 2,000, there must be like tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of these procedures done every day. One in 2,000, that's pretty, that's pretty common. But damage, it's probably temporary damage. It probably, it's probably just a little nick or something that heals. What if they poke a hole in my stomach? They're not gonna poke a hole in your stomach. I think you're gonna be just fine. Have any of you had what, an endoscopy? Endoscopy. Endoscopy, have you had one of those? Were you okay? I have to go for one of those in a couple of weeks. Just wait till you're older and you gotta get a colonoscopy. We'll, we'll worry about that then. <laughs> I'm just- Go fight me on that one too. My solution is I'm just not gonna get old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and other than that appointment, we have, uh, well, she has a, an ultrasound appointment. On Monday. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah, and I'm not gonna be there for that it's one. It's our 20 week anatomy scan. I'm kinda bummed out that I can't be there for it. But she, uh... We don't even know that he'd be allowed in the room, though. Yeah. Some, some places still have that stupid rule of one person in there. But even if I can be there, uh, we only see the results at our next... At the next prenatal appointment for her. December 6th. December 6th. So, I'm not really missing anything. I'm just, uh, not there for this. For all the picture taking. All pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And half the time I probably won't see the screen anyways because mm -hmm. ultrasound techs aren't even allowed to give you any info, which is so dumb because they probably know more than half the doctors, let's face it, <laughs> but because they do it every day, but whatever, it's protocol, but, and also we don't want to know the sex, so she or he will probably face the screen away from me most of the time anyway. That's true. So on December 6th, so what was the other appointment? We have that appointment on December 6th, we got my endo, my mask, baby. Endoscopy. Endoscopy. On the 21st. The 25th is your work Christmas party. Oh yeah, Christmas party. And then the 28th is, uh, oh, the dog's shots. Annual shots. Oh, the 28th. Yeah. Which is Monday. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a couple of days off this month, and then next month is Christmas, so I'm gonna have a few days off next month too, so. so you're gonna have to run hard in between. So yeah, I've gotta take off now. Make some money while I can. Yep. Put some kibble in these mouths. Not mine. Yeah. Especially that one. Right, Frank? Yeah. You pig. Big eater. Clearly. Look at him. Look at the size of him. <laughs> Frankie. Frank! Hey! He's exhausted from anxiety over the vacuum. <laughs> hey, buddy? Oh, God. She said vacuum. Is it coming back out? Gonna emerge from its cave. A hike vacuum. So anyways, thanks for watching today. It was just a little weekend vlog. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go grocery shopping. Yes.